Hello and welcome to Caesar's Snack Sandwich. Today, in the spirit of trying to catch up on my to-do list, uh, I have Sonne Finance here. Um, one of my f old friends from the early Phantom days, his name's Atakan, he reached out to me a little while ago and introduced me to this project that he's a founder of, him and some of his friends. Uh, basically, it's a lending platform, but there's a couple little twists on here that... Uh, that I'd like to highlight and kind of show you. Um, unfortunately, I missed the LG, LGE because, you know, life and just laziness on my behalf. But uh, I still I still think it's worth explaining to you what, what's going on here and what are the simple changes that they've made or not really changes, just kind of additions to the flow and to the, to the concepts of this kind of idea. Now, as usual, like uh, if you're unfamiliar with this, what this protocol does, then uh, I'll just give you a quick idea is that you can supply collateral and you can borrow collateral from these things. It's basically Compound Finance or Iron Bank or any of these kinds of um, lending platforms, but with, a, like I said, with a couple little twists, okay? So you have lending, you have the market liquidities that basically show how much liquidity it has. Uh, it has your portfolio, as you can see, I don't have anything in it. But then they have this staking, okay? The staking of the governance reward tokens. So if we go back to lending, you can see that there is a supply APY and there's also a reward APY. So this uh, supply is basically the APY you get in WETH because people are borrowing it. And this is the reward APY in the governance token of this protocol, the SANE, which is the SANE token. And then you can take the SANE token here and you can stake it for either of these two sides here. Okay. Now, I'm going to swing over to the docs and kind of explain to you what are some of the differences here, like what are some of the ideas of especially the difference between these two types of staking. And it's kind of better to kind of explain this on uh, <coughs> with the docs and kind of understand that. But uh, basically, one of the key features is that uh, they have the entire schedule here. So they have all of the emissions that are going to be supplied to the people who lend here, all of these numbers here. They're basically hard coded. Okay, so what they've done is they've set these numbers already, and then they've supplied all of those tokens to the contract. And you can then you can verify this too if you if you feel the time. But you can basically it's going like it's predictable. Like you you know the token emissions, and as you can see, they are reducing every every month. So at the start they're quite uh, exuberant, and then as time progresses over the 37 months, then they're going to slowly slowly reduce. Okay, now I'm not going to go through the whole distribution distribution like you can go through here and figure out like what you think is fair and if you think this is good or not but the other key feature that they're doing is that they're not supplying um they're not supplying sonai rewards to liquidity providers so people who provide liquidity to the velodrome liquidity pools here so if you if you decide to provide liquidity here then you can stick it in you can you know you can add your liquidity to the here with sonne usdc and you can get to this 250 percent apr but this is not in sonne tokens so what they're how they're doing this is they've decided instead of uh like giving um their Sonne token to liquidity providers they're instead going to bribe the velodrome holders to give velo tokens to them okay so it's kind of like an experiment i'm not sure if it's going to be better or worse right it's it's kind of there there's two concepts right but the, the velodrome i have heard does have a better return on investment by uh bribing instead of uh you know instead of being straight up giving tokens out okay so the, it kind of reduces selling pressure right and then the velodrome tokens in, or sorry, the SANE tokens can then also be mostly focused on these lending markets here, but they do, they are bribing the velodrome holders. So those people do have the opportunity to sell, of course. Okay. So that's interesting. Um, the other thing I like about this is that uh, the staking. Okay. So they have two kinds of staking. Like I said, over here, if we go here, and we go to stake, they have S Sane and they have U Sane. So you can come here and you can read this. But basically the idea is that uh, when they did this LGE, right? So they asked people to give uh, USDC and then that USDC was immediately like was you know collected up. And then at the end of the LGE, they took that USDC and they paired it with a whole bunch of tokens. So this set the price of the tokens and then they provided liquidity to Velodrome. Okay. Now, because they're bribing, they're using, you know, their Sane token to bribe emissions on this pool. They also have protocol owned liquidity inside that farm, farming the Velo tokens. So when you do stake, oh, let's go to the stake here. 
when you do stake you can see there's Sane rewards and Velo rewards and then also here there is USDC and Velo rewards so those Velo rewards 80% uh, of them are given to these people basically pro rata they like basically take a look at you know the difference you know like how many are here how many here and they split it up like it not 50 50 but basically you know if this this if 60% of the people are in here then they will give 60% here and 40% here I'm pretty sure that's right okay now the difference here the USDC and the uh, Sane tokens is basically a, uh, the, the collateral reserve factor. So if you look here, there is a, a difference between the, the supply and the borrow. Now, it's not 100% because there's a more supply than there is borrowed. It's not 100% utilized, right? So there is a little profit margin in here between this spread. Like it's not 1.7% because there's you know less borrowed than than there is supplied so but there is a small spread in here and this spread 80 percent of that is used to to uh, support these two uh, these two stakers here they, these so basically if you were to supply here then they're going to use that reserve factor profit or that revenue to buy the sane token from the market and give it to these people and if you were to choose this then they would use that that revenue to get USDC and give it to these people as well. So you have some kind of opportunities. You have some choices. Do you want more Sunny tokens or do you want uh, USDC? Okay. Now the the team's uh, token distribution right here. There's a core team 12%. This is on a three month cliff. So they what they said is they're they're taking 80% of that revenue and giving it to those stakers until this three months is up once this three months is up then the core team will start getting their tokens and they can then stake them and then 100 percent of that revenue will be given to these uh, stakers so I, I really like this idea i think it's pretty fair and i think it's pretty uh, straightforward and then there's also the claim if you did participate in the lge then you will be have some claimable tokens here and uh, if you did participate in the lge then i'm pretty sure you already know all of this stuff and I don't need to explain it okay so that's pretty much it just a quick little video I hope this is useful and interesting and uh, thank you so much for watching oh I should mention that it is on optimism so if you are interested in looking at that you should come and check out optimism okay thank you so much for watching and goodbye